Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. We are playing La Nova de Mort with the Imperial Officers. My name is Twitchy, and last time we got to the point of starting up a small little cooling exchange over here. It turned out our plants were getting up just a, lot, up a little bit too close to 30 degrees, and at that point they stopped functioning well. So we set up this little loop. Unfortunately, this loop was far too much power for what was going down over here. So I think what I want to do is make another one of these units underneath here clear all this out and then start thinking about how we can do a better oxygen cleaning system hey Tug, what's going on you um you're doing a doing a thing over here uh for all this to happen i need to start clearing this area out though i think the first thing i'm gonna do is possibly come along and put down a few tiles there i actually don't think that's enough room uh I, I'm, I'm looking at that now going like that's that's not enough that is not enough. In fact, what I'm going to do is grab ourselves a couple of power generators here. Let's just put one there and one there. Yeah, that feels good. That feels good. At the same time, I'm going to start digging out all this bits here. And I would also like to pick them back up as soon as possible. Uh, let's also get the tiles going like that. Does that look like a workable solution? Looks workable to me. And um, we'll come up here with an eight like so. Uh, come through with the digging tool and hopefully get all of this out of here. If we could just get rid of all of that I will be a happy bunny that's not quite all on nine I think I think I'm gonna try something you see how they're all five I'm gonna press G and go to seven and just kind of do that does that actually it does it overwrites now that was something that it didn't actually used to do uh, and I am very glad that it is doing so now now all this stuff under here I want to make sure it gets cleared out pretty quick um, P5, don't actually care about those, that was just an experiment. I truly, truly do care about what's going on down this way. Not only do I want to put in uh, something like that, obviously underneath I want to try and think about putting down some power, some batteries or something like that. I was considering putting them up here because obviously the heat would transfer into the hit this area, at which point it would be chilled down by what's going on. Um, but I thought, no, that actually... You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to go with my first impulse. Uh, it's probably uh, not a very good impulse. Uh, I, I could see lots of reasons why this doesn't work, including the fact that it's all so self-contained like this. Uh, I think that's going to probably be a bad idea. Let's let's do that and let these guys get down to the lower levels so that we can start getting all this stuff dug out from under here. Do you reckon if we do that, that, that and that, it'll uh, pick its pace up? I hope so. Is this where we keep all our seeds? It is literally all the seeds, isn't it? I'd like to pump that up a lot higher if possible. If, if, if we can make that a thing. Come on, guys. Do your digging. Do your digging. Okay, the digging has been dug and the buildings are being bug? No, no, built. But still, we'll, we'll try and find a, a past tense word for built that sounds a little bit better with digging dug. Uh, but if we should get, get all this done, that should then free up our power system. I keep pressing the wrong button there. Uh, to be able to, like, snip this up here, if I go uh, X and steal all that, not only will it stop them having to run so far away to get the copper for building all this lot, though I've got a feeling that's probably already done, it now separates off our two power systems here. And I want to build a little thing down here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is build another platform, much like I did over here. I think platforms are quite useful when you you want to build stuff. Um, I'm also a little bit worried about this water overflowing down here. I mean, I'm not worried about it flowing down to here. That, that's fine. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about it flowing back this way. Perhaps what we want to do is upgrade the priority on this. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go nuts. I'm gonna go crazy. You can't stop me. I'm gonna use the priority eight. Also, I'm looking around. There's a lot of stuff on the floor in my base now. I'm gonna go K6. That's a low level, but not too low level sweep. Uh, it should make sure things like food still get done, but everything else still gets picked up. I'm not sure if I want to pick up these bits of dirt over here, actually. Let's, let's do with that. What is this? That, that normal water? Okay, that's fine. Uh, the reason that I'm worried about these, if I come in press F9, oh, uh, they're actually all right. There's no dirt on them. Uh, but like, I like that bit there, uh, that polluted dirt. Let's. Well, I mean, like when it gets swept, it will get swept into there. Swapped? I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that that would be good. Another thing I want to do is just go around and tidy up a few places in my base. Like this needs to be taken down, um, like that. We've also got these ladders here. Let's rip these down. They're totally unnecessary. Perhaps all the uh, materials can get taken from here to there. 
that that would be great. If if that's a thing that could be done, that would be great. I think also we're probably going to have to go down and put a few of these here. And I've noticed that I am once again just talking my way through the entire process here. So I'm going to clean all this up, make this uh, ready for use, probably knock my way through here and talk about the next thing that we are going to dig. Um, not dig, build. But I, I do want to dig as well. I want to get some of this iron ore. Yeah, but yeah, in a, in a sec. It's been a few cycles and literally the only bit left to tidy up is just over here in the farm. So I think we should be okay to move on to our next bit here. Now you may remember that this is actually the automation update. And unfortunately you wouldn't know it in the past couple of episodes because I've not had the refined metals to get the automation under well. But if we come in, underway, sorry. But if we come into this refinement section, grab the rock granulizer and pop it under here. This should be able to get us on the first rungs of refined metals. If I put that up like that, get the metal underway. Uh, I'm going to get a nine, the wire, sorry, underway. I'm going to get a priority nine and tell people that I really want this built. I, I know that you guys are sweeping, doing a good job tidying this place up. In fact, if we have a look at the... Ah, uh, that's, that's pretty nasty, actually. I was going to say, if we have a look at the, um, the decor, we should see that things are kind of A-OK. -okay. But they're not... They're not. Things Things are horrible. Things are horrible. So let's go with some sculpting blocks like that. Maybe we could put some more ceiling lights up. That kind of sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, we got that one there. Is there anything we could do? Oh, look at this. This this guy needs to have a, a ceiling painting there. A, a canvas, if you will. Let's put those there. Uh, I would also like to get some more sculpting blocks this side and this side. Looks like we need also need another tile in like that. Okay, that, that's a good start. Maybe we could do with a little bit of decor there Though I do intend to rip these ones down So I'm not sure about that being a permanent workable solution uh, This is just going to be a temporary thing And indeed the, they're only going to use it for moments at a time So that should be good I'm actually giving thought to that Do I want to do that? Do I want to do that? I mean, like, the sooner the better, right? But we'll, we'll just start with this one. Let's deconstruct that and see how long it takes. It is on a low priority, so it may take a little bit of time. I have also noticed that I've got a couple of wires here that... Well, a couple of lights here that are not connected to anything. Let's go down like that. That looks like a good, safe way of doing it. Right, here we go. The rock granulizer has been built. You'll also note that I've got some uh, ladders being built over this way because we've got a small iron ore deposit. If I come in with the uh, the dig on the nine, I think I'd also like to get these up to a priority nine. There's two there. Did you guys see that? Two little priorities. What's the two jobs being done? Uh, dig and ladder? Ignis Rock. No, that, that appears to be the only ones being done. Okay, that's fine. Here comes Cassio to come and do the business. I'm glad that we've got like a high density of, um, of oxygen down here keeping this hydrogen back. That'd probably be a good idea. Why is it so high? Ah, because it was all in here when I pushed everything up. Yeah, that, that, that might actually be it. That, that may very well be the key there. Uh, do I want to dig all this out as well? If I dig it out, it means people can reach it easier uh, and get up there a lot faster. Like, the whole crew should now come along and start digging that up. Everybody? Ev everybody? No, not everybody, but the majority of people are on their way. Look at this. Look at this nice clear floor now. Uh, I'm starting to wonder whether we want to open some of these doors up for through for free flowing access, uh, especially where they're just tidy. Yeah, let's do it. Where, where they're just tidying up, I think that's a, probably a good idea to uh, run with there. <laughs> oh, poor guys. They they haven't got any any breaths to hold here. Uh, actually, I'm going to go for a P8 on this lot so that digging this out is actually a super high priority. M much higher than the world around it. Okay, look at that. Okay, so with our first bit of iron ore coming in here, the reason I wanted to use iron ore is because there's a lot more iron... I left debug on my t on my test world. Oh no! Quick, move in before I see stuff that I don't want to see. Uh, I really don't want to... Um... Oh god, okay. So if you ever do this, um, if you ever end up with this, what the, the trick is, you turn debug on. Oh, this game's never been debugged before, so let's see what happens. Okay, so you turn debug on and you'll notice that it puts the fog of war back. You then just leave. Oh, wait, I need to save first. Uh, you, you then just leave with the fog of war on. 
Uh, I, I've done this in the test world a few times now. My, my poor, poor dupes in their test world. I totally, totally um, torture them. I don't care about my dupes in my test world. I care about the systems that I'm building. Um, the, uh, the, the heat system, incidentally, that I'm building over here. This is only half of it. Uh, we need to set up a better temperature gradient across here. So I'd like to put some water or even polluted water in here uh, with a pump and a valve and then have a, another isolated area here. And we pump the, the, the heat from this area up so we have a cold gradient here. And it wants to pull all the heat across as quick as possible. That's by far the better way of setting that up. Uh, I don't have the requisite... Let's have a look. Where is it? Here we go. We need, we need to have this to make that work. So that, that's something I'm going to have to work on. Also, whilst we're here, um, I kind of want to work towards... Where was it? Healthcare. Uh, the reason that I say healthcare is because not only do I want the apothecary, but I'd also like to get my plumbing and sanitation sorted, and all of them work towards healthcare. So let, let's set that up there. There is a relatively low priority, so it's going to take them a little bit of time to get that going, but that should be fine. That should be fine. All right. So we, we've got ourselves the iron ore back. Oh, I should have checked the uh, fog of war. Yep, okay, cool. That's good. Uh, so we've got the iron ore. I want to put two of them through. Indeed, two of them. Uh, the reason being is when you run one through, look, you get 50 grams of... Uh, 50 kilograms of iron back, which... Uh, it's only enough to buy, build one of these thermo sensors, and I want to set up a temperature control system over here. So that's going to take uh, some wire. I'm not even sure how much wire this takes. Let's have a look. Five kilograms. So I can only build uh, one of those and five. Actually, I might be able to do that just on the one. Just on the one. Let's let's take that off there. We'll, we'll see because I don't want to. I don't want to waste my ore in the granulizer because the granulizer only gives you a fifty percent return, if you will. Um, are you, are you angry there? You look like you're breaking it through through stress and anger and, and all other things that we, we don't really like our duplicates to be suffering from. Uh, I'm actually going to go through. I've just noticed that if I put this ladder uh, down lower here, we can then break these ones and it'll make things look better. Look at that! There we go! We've got automation! We can do stuff! Oh my gosh! Are you ready for this, guys? Well, um, I really want to put it as far over that way as possible. Um, but I'm what I'm gonna do. No, we're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go uh, one, two, three, four, five, something like that. Because you have to run the wire from and to the same plot. Uh, not from and to, but you need to count the beginning and the end, right? And then if we go automation, automated wire, all the way. You, you won't go all the way across like that. Trust me, you won't do it. Uh, and then we could, should be able to set that up like that. And then when this this gets built, I'll show you what we're doing, guys. Uh, no, that's that's not the new and exciting bit. That's not the new and exciting bit. This is the new... Uh, that's P9. It doesn't matter if the priority goes up on these temporary builds because, you know, they're temporary, yeah? That's that's the way I'm going to hopefully work it. With that like that, I'm going to come through and break this. And, oh, of course, nighttime happens. Okay, next day happens and some of my food decays. That's... that's that's lovely. That's absolutely lovely. Thank you very much. If, if there's one thing I want, it's enough food that it's starting to rot in my corridors. Got to try and figure out a way of dealing with that. But here we go. The automation wire is in place. And here comes the thermo sensor. Was that some hydrogen I just saw up here? Best not be. I am not looking for hydrogen up here. Uh, so I'm actually looking if above 20... Chill the place out. That's what I would like. If above 20, you chill the place out. Uh, we also need to re-enable this building because the thermo sensor takes care of that. And this is exactly why we wanted the thermo sensor, so that we don't have to enable and disable the building. We just turn it on and let the thermo wire do its thing. So with that running like that, we should now see F7 gases coming through here. Now, this isn't quite as efficient as it could be. There is another way we could make it more efficient. You'll see that these gas pipes are only giving out 50 grams at a time, um, and that unfortunately means these are only working at half capacity. We want them to be taking kilograms at a time, like at literally a kilogram per time. Uh, and there is a way, there is a way of making a little pipe course that makes them all stack up. Unfortunately, I do not know what that way is. I saw Brothgar do it once. Bro Brothgar? Uh, do it once. Even though I've heard him say his name, I still I still don't know. Um, so, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know exactly. You know what? I am... Uh, I was saying I was going to disable that, but unfortunately, we're, we're sort of a little bit out of oxygen, so I mean, once we've built this Bristle Brossom, Bristle Brossom farm, uh, we'll put another 
oxygen station there, especially as we've got the steam geyser here. Are you about to flood yourself? Is that something that's going to happen? Uh, I mean, that will be pretty cool. Uh, but I've not really thought about how we're going to take the water from here, put it out there, and keep the place cool. That, that's the main problem, is how do we keep it cool? I'm not sure if the electrolyzer passes on heat. Look, it's like 60 in there. How, what temperature does this does this give out at? Um, it doesn't actually say. It's, a, it's at 80. Does it go up or down? Does it go up as we... 85. It goes up as it erupts. Okay, well that, that's something to keep an eye on. Like, it'll be nice to like keep this air around here super chill, maybe using this system. I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing. Um, I really do kind of want to turn that deoxygenizer off because that's just going to keep going. Uh, let's let's disable this for now. Um, somehow we need to get an inverter, a knock gate on the go in between, right? So whilst this is off... When this stops, when when this starts pumping, this one turns off, and vice versa. That that would be great. We have a like a knock gate here and a little bit of wire connecting them all up. That would be amazing. Unfortunately, I do believe the advanced automation is like all the way up here. And look at all this this stuff that I need to learn here. Uh, but there's the and or or XOR, sorry, and not not is what I'm after. It would be nice if these were a little bit more spread out. Like the and and not should generally be the first ones right followed by the or and maybe the x or i don't know i don't know it would nice to be uh nice to be getting those at different times instead of everything at once okay carbon dioxide is building i started with okay again trying to push trying to stop that but the, the carbon dioxide is really starting to build up here so i'd like to knock through this as quick as possible oh the, the bad times are gonna happen no Bad times, bad, bad times have happened. Um, ladder, let's get this down all the way down here. I'm also a little bit worried about the water going everywhere, but we'll, we'll live with this somehow. Can can you actually build all that, Tarkin? Piet as well. Piet and Tarkin. What what a sitcom, hey? Piet and Tarkin. <laughs> they're, they're both living in a flat on Alderaan. Um, obviously Alderaan. I mean, it, it wouldn't be Coruscant, would it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, let's let these guys do their thing. Maybe we need to put a tile down there. I think that might be the thing there. Tile in like this here. Maybe even if we go all the way across, that might make a little bit more sense. Indeed, I'm going to just do that. Maybe that. Yeah, we'll see what comes from that. But thankfully, now we have the flow of carbon dioxide, so all the oxygen should make its way back. I kind of feel like we need some like airflow tiles here to let it drop down on top of this algae terrarium. But I can tell you, we probably do not have enough algae terrariums on the go. Uh, I believe it's something like two and a half algae terrariums per dupe, uh, if you want to just clean the dupe's um, breath. Uh, obviously, the, the less active they're being, the less carbon dioxide is put out. Uh, which is quite an interesting thing to try and work around. I, I've noticed this a few times. Noticed it a few times. All right, everyone's going back to sleep. I'm going to decide... Well, I'm going to let them just work on this stuff. And when they've dealt with all this, I'm going to come back and work on this... Bristle Blossom Farm. I can't... I just can't say it. Bristle Blossom Farm. There we go. <laughs> Joy of joys, we got to 25 and the thermo sensor turned off. I think we've got ourselves a fully working automated system here. As I say, there are a few things that I would like to do to improve this, uh, like having a chilled section up here to pull the power. But that, that's... Yeah, it's, it, I think that's a really good, like, at least starting uh, way of dealing with all this. The starters cooling system, maybe? I don't know. So we keep having food decay, uh, which, which is good. It means I've got an extra bit of food. But you see we've got these rotten lice loaf. More importantly, rot pile is what they're called here. I'm wondering whether I want to put down a... Where are you? Storage compactor over here. I'll put the super high priority and see if we can just put rot piles in there. I want, I want to make the cleaning up of rot piles one of the highest priorities. Just to try and get all the polluted oxygen in one place. You know, underneath where my dupes sleep because that, that would be obviously the best place. Maybe there's a bit of a, decont of a contamination issue here, but it, it's working for me. Now, somewhere in here, there's got it. There we go, rock pile. Put that up at nine and keep that working like that. So hopefully these things will now get moved out of my base. Oh, that is so good. Yes, yes. All of it gets moved out of my base. That is cool. Maybe we could even like keep polluted dirt in there. That might be a good idea as well. Because look, I get get bits just being left left around like that, and I'd like it to all move towards my compost bin if possible. Yes, yes, I would. Uh, they're really taking their time building all the extra features that I wanted in here. It's been um, a few cycles already. So yeah, when, when these guys have got done, I'll be back. This may be a mistake, but I've set them all for deconstruction because I'm about to start working on my bristle bottoms over here. And 
and these require different cooking utensils to cook with. Now, I actually need to move this. This this, this needs to come down here next to this lot, and then we need to put a different cookery station up there. Uh, I don't need to do this all individually. I can just, like, copy settings and do that, and we'll, uh, we'll see what they deal with there. Now, hopefully, when they... When they plant all this, the, the temperature should diffuse quite nicely through there. If I have a look here, you can see that that is underway. Uh, speaking of, though, we're also getting a lot of temperature, as expected, down here that is diffusing up. And it isn't quite getting um, eaten up in the way that I thought it would. Okay, this is going actually a little bit better. So we're going from, let's have a look, uh, no, down here, 27 degrees to minus four okay wow yeah um mm, that's uh that's a little bit if we get down below 10 we are in trouble uh, i think that'll be okay though i think that should be okay because there is a general flow on the go so that that'll work out a okay for us are they gonna come around and uh plant these up i don't i don't think they are anytime soon i think i'm probably gonna have to uh tweak some priorities here in fact if i go priority nine that's that's a little bit deadly but it, it will happen it will happen quickly the next thing i need to do is push these priorities up we'll only go for a seven for these uh so that we can get them out of the way we're ready to be have this relocated i'm also going to deconstruct that just to be on the same wave okay what are you guys missing illumination and irrigation two things that i am actually prepared for well sort of so we come down to the plumbing we've got a liquid pump i'm going to pop that just there seems like the best place to put it if i just slow that down to that that should be cool uh now what i want to do is come across the ladder up like this do i go up the main ladder actually i think i'm gonna go up the main ladder just up like that and then i can bring this in for the irrigation okay that works incredibly well like that now i wanted to to cancel not to destroy if at all possible so that's a good first step i also then need to put some illumination in which i think i'm going to do through the power of airflow tiles now i want to have a little bit of room to make sure that i can actually reach them furniture ceiling light how much does that do oh we're one short uh let's Let's, let's go up one more. Let's go up one more. That's probably the best way of doing it, right? I, I hope so, anyway. So we're going to go up that far. Um, just, just on the inside, actually. We don't want to go all the way out to that. Uh, obviously, we're going to need to dig that out. Perhaps people can come along and dig it out like this. Or perhaps even, actually, we'll do it like that. That that seems fair to me. That does indeed. Let's run a seven up there. A little bit, little bits of oxalite there. Not not overly keen on digging those up like that, but it's going to be the way forwards. We also now need to get the power going from uh, this area uh, in, down, and across like that. Yeah, yeah, that, that works, right? That, that works for me anyway. I don't know if it works for you guys. Works for me. Okay, so is there anything else? It's literally just illumination. It doesn't actually need irrigation. Is, is that is that true? Is that true? I don't believe you. I do not believe you. Let's do that like that and see what happens here. Uh, right, so we need the lights. That is the next thing that I was supposed to concentrate on. Yeah, just like that. Perfectly central. That, that's what we want. And we'll get the power coming off, across, and down. And that may be too much. I don't know. I don't know. Why is this red rot wire here? Because that has not been built. How do we How do we get this uh, super high priority? Looks like we're going to have to build another ladder somewhere in there. I can't believe that that's been like that for so long. Uh, let's come in P P9. Yes, please. Then someone should come along and fill these in pretty quickly. Look at all this algae being dropped on the floor. Not ideal, but we'll, we will deal with it. Uh, can he climb up there like that? Let's put this on the same priority as these, and then everything can get done at the same time, hopefully. Okay, well, I'm going to let these guys work through here, uh, as seems to be the theme of the le of the, uh, the episode. What did I say? Of the lesson there? I'm not teaching nothing. I don't know. If you, find, if you guys think that I'm teaching the ways here, let me know. Let me know. Okay, kitchen rework. Let's go. I want to put the microbe musher down here somewhere, because... Obviously, this is where the mill lights come from. And in fact, I'm going to put it right next to it there. And then up here, I want to put the electric grill down. Okay, that works out really well, actually. Really, really, really well. Uh, I'm going to go with a power wire uh, into that. Now, I've got a feeling this is going to push us over the limit. 
Uh, but we, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. We'll see what happens with that. I think it should be A-OK. -okay. And in fact, if I go P9, we should be able to check that out pretty quickly. Like like that? Do you reckon that'll get things built quickly? Okay, so that wire got made. Let's come through and delete those. I also kind of want to dig these out because that's been like that for a little while. And we are indeed using this ladder now to get back and forth. I, I need a better system here. I need a better system. Uh, but it will be the one that works for now. Okay, cool. This is, this is really good. As soon as this micro much it gets built I will set it up for continuous lice loaf production because you know what else are we going to set it up for and it almost feels like up here should be the place where we store the food you know we have a refrigerator here and here uh, yeah, that, that kind of works for me. Okay, Gristleberry. It only needs that. I'm going to put that on continuous. That being the blossom seeds, the blossom flowers, bristle blossoms themselves. Uh, and then this comes in on the nine as well. So this should keep good old Dexter nice and busy now. As long as everything else gets put in place. I can't believe it's still not built this illumination. Uh, P9. Let's just go through and do all of these. I just want the wires. Just want the wires. You are not going to get built like that, are you? No, you're not. Uh, let's go for eight. We'll go one, two. You won't let me build you there, will you? Okay. Like this. That that should be good enough. And in fact, if I come across all the way like that, I should be able to dig out the underside. Oh, Tyrion, you, you almost got it. Tian, sorry. You, you almost got it. You, you fell past it all. You could have grabbed it, but no, you decided that it was more important to scream and shout about how you were falling down. Disgusting. Uh, it's this lack of lack of discipline inside the uh, the Imperial Alliance that really kind of made it fall apart, you know? The, the Emperor, he, he really did try. He really did try, but he just didn't have the iron grip that he thought he had. Uh, let's go with these here. What I really should do is replace everything for granite. I mean, that, that would work. It would give an extra, like, 20% decor. Well, it's an extra 5% decor um, because sandstone gives 15. The, the sandstone... I, I realised halfway through that sentence that I might be wrong. No, sandstone only gives 10 and granite gives 20% decor, so that that's a thing to watch out for. Is this one just not being done? Is he like, nah, I can't be bothered. Um, I thought it would be a good idea, but no. Yes? Do it. Awesome. Okay, illumination has happened and people are growing. Okay, cool, cool. I want all this to be taken out, though. Let's get this on the nice, stupidly high priority, including this wall here so that we don't have to come back and do it again. In fact, I'm even going to get an extra ladder put down in the corner there. So for the, for the cross cross reach, you know, uh, and that should be good. Uh, how is going on over here? Things are going well, but of course we've got... Su uh, I, I did a not an eight there. I don't think I want to do that. I'm going I'm to go six instead. Is that overrun it? Is that overwritten it? Overrun it. Is overrun a word? Uh, well, overrun is a word, but not in that context. Definitely not in that context. What? 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 Body temperature? Why? Uh, it's even more narrow than I thought it was. I'm going to bring this down to a 20. Uh, let's, a 20. Can't believe it. Oh, oh, that's 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 a little bit annoying. Maybe we should have put this up there and let the temperature like fizz down rather than going up. Hmm. Hmm. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. <laughs> In fact, the way I'm going to work on it is putting a gas vent down with um, some ventilation. We still don't have insulated pipes. Got to work on that. Got to work on that. P9, if you could, guys, just like really, really get this done. Uh, and then let's put a few of those down like that, just in case they need them. You never know for reaching up into the corner. It might be the thing. And this will now push cold air in, which will also get pushed out here. But that, that's kind of okay. I'm, I'm, I'm down with that. I am down with that. Also give a reason for this. Keep topping up all the oxygen down there. Uh, so all those are now done to my specification. We'll start talking about how to get rid of them, I suppose. Uh, like that. Oh, it can be done from the ground. I'll do the whole lot in one go then. Uh, I, I thought these guys were going to have to climb up the ladder and go all the way across. Turns out, no, not a thing, which is it's fine by me, you know? That is fine by me. Uh, this one, they are already priority. Oh, we can reach anyway. Stop. Cancel. Don't want those. <laughs> okay, okay. Is this going to make a good bristle blossom situation? I hope so. They are definitely dropping down in temperature now. 21, 20. Okay, what about over this side? We've got 24 outside. Hopefully, it's just pushing everything out. We, we can hope, right? We can hope. Uh, I'm going to do another oxygen system up here. In fact, I don't know why I did the airflow tiles. Well, I did the airflow tiles because I thought I was going to be putting another load of bristle blossoms down. But now that I stop and think about it, that's probably not what's going to happen. Uh, you guys, if at all possible? 
Yeah? That looks good. No? Does it not look good? Well, I'll be back when I think this has worked. All right, well, it's worked for at least one of them. That is amazing. So all we've got to do is wait for diffusion to come through and make this a more even and consistent temperature. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we managed to get ourselves some bristle blossom getting over heat again. Oh, no, it's the illumination. That's fine. That's fine. We'll work out a temperature. Uh, we'll work out a power system in a bit. Uh, yeah, we got this all done, the bristle blossoms. We got a new power system in place. We even got more water and refined metals as well as doing something to make the place feel a little bit nicer for our duplicates. Next time, I think I'm going to put a chilling system in here to try and pull the heat away from this. Because whilst it's barely even up to 40 degrees yet, and I should imagine that's starting to become true up here as oh well, I think we could do better by pouring water in here and then cooling it down, as I have explained a few times now. But anyway, I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!